All right, guys and girls and all other 47 genders or 159 how many of them are there uh, i don't know um let's go with today's video so welcome guys and today's video is gonna be about josh lenartovitz i'm gonna do a little video about him and i will do a little analysis about his physique and i will give you my opinion on whether i think he will win this upcoming arnold classic australia and basically a little bit more about his future in the sport uh, based on what we saw at this Arnold Classic 2019 Ohio where he came humongous like a freaking monster so before we start analyzing him uh, furthermore and before we start comparing him to other competitors they're probably gonna show up at Arnold Classic Australia let's take a look at his physique as it is right now and um, what do you guys think I mean do you think he improved do you think he came worse or what uh, my opinion is only that he came much bigger and that's the only thing that I can notice but he really really came much bigger he is definitely officially one of the biggest freaks in today's bodybuilding I mean who else is there like Big Ramy and maybe Big Ramy is bigger and maybe pound for pound like Roll is bigger I guess but they don't have that kind of freak factor that Josh has, Josh is just humongous, and I'm sure actually he's one of the biggest guys, probably the biggest guy after Big Ramy, I would say. But the thing is, Josh has some insane vascularity, and he can come peeled, he can do that, we saw that before, Big Ramy can do it. Big Ramy is pretty much always water and, and fat or whatever, like the best condition that we ever saw of him was 2017 Mr. Olympia, yeah, and I think 2014 New York Pro. So that was like the maximum that he can get probably and that wasn't good enough. But you have seen Josh coming completely peeled and dialed in. But that was before when he was much much lighter. Now he is much bigger. And let's see how that plays out for him. I mean we saw something like this with, with Ronnie Coleman, right? I mean the truth is he doesn't have the best genetics, he doesn't really have those popping 3D muscle and beautiful proportions and that kind of stuff. But he does have the freak factor and not only that, but he just has a lot of mass on pretty much any body part. So we saw this before, right? We, we saw this with, with Ronnie Coleman and the thing was Flex Wheeler was much more aesthetic, he definitely had back to proportions but ronnie was humongous <laughs> ronnie ronnie was something you know something that we probably never gonna see in bodybuilding if we see it i will be the first one to make a video about it but i don't think that's gonna happen this is just like once in, 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 a, in a million years but we'll see we'll see maybe it happens anyways josh has an amazing muscular development he has every muscle that he needs and he has a lot of mass if he comes peeled he can be something like a new Mr. Olympia even, like th that's possible, come on guys, let's be honest, it's possible, because he has the mass, he has very complete body, he definitely does have pretty much all the muscles that one can ask for, and also he can come peel, that's one of the most important things guys, I mean he can come shredded as hell if he wants to, or should I say when everything goes well for him. There is one more thing that I really like about Josh, and I'm sure you guys can relate to this, I think he has an amazing personality, he actually has an interesting personality, he is very smart, educated, intelligent, compared to most of these guys that are pretty much not on quite that level, if I'm gonna be polite, like, you know, some of them don't even speak good English, like Big Grammy, then you have Rolly Winkler who is not very vocal, and so on, like Josh is very very educated, smart, intelligent, and he knows how to talk. So he would also be a great representative of bodybuilding. I mean, if the Mr. Olympia, the champion of bodybuilding, is like Big Ramy, and then somebody who doesn't know anything about bodybuilding, and you show him, this is our champion, this is our representative, and you take a look at him and you think, well, this is how bodybuilders are, right? I mean, yeah, politics shouldn't be a part of judging system, but do you guys really want everybody to think that of bodybuilders? Hmm, it's questionable, I'm not gonna say what I think about it, although it's probably very clear. But anyways, anyways, I'll just go with, with the next uh, couple of pictures, let's compare him to the other guys who are gonna probably compete against him in Australia. And I'm sorry guys, but I'm not gonna compare him to every each one of these bodybuilders, and I'm not gonna go over every single body part that you can see. But I can just tell you that here is uh, Rolly Winkler, and Rolly was third place at the last year's Mr. Olympia. 
And if Sean was a bit off, he could have been second or even first. I mean, if he would be second if Sean would be third. But he was actually, I think, in my opinion, if you can watch my video, he was potentially better than, than, than Phil Heath. So if Rolly comes, you know, ready, he can even win Mr. Olympia, not just the Arnold Classic Australia. And if you can see here, Josh is handling him pretty well. I mean, they're both off. They were both horribly off at this year's Arnold Classic, but they're, they're actually pretty close. And we still have time, but, you know, Rolly is getting older. He's not a young guy. Josh is very young. He didn't even reach the age of maximum muscle maturity. He's only going to get better. And maybe not this year, maybe not the next year, maybe not the next five years. But eventually, he will come very, very close to winning the title. And as far as this Arnold Classic goes, I think if he comes peeled, he can win it. Anybody can win it, these guys. They're all very close. It's just a matter of who nails the best conditioning. And I think because of the fact that uh, Josh doesn't have to travel, he's the only guy from Australia. He's going to be much less stressed. And for that reason, he may just come in the best conditioning and he may win it. What do you guys think? What do you think is the future of Josh? And what do you think? Is he going to win 2019 Arnold Classic Australia? Whatever you think, type in the comment section below, please. And if you enjoyed this video, like the video. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. I'm posting new content every single day, pretty much. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much, guys. Bye-bye.